Hey, Dr. Jeanette here. I'm here with Kelly White. She's our reflexologist uh, at the Holistic Operating Wellness Center, and I wanted to uh, bring her on today so that she can share with us some strategies to de-stress, things that you can do at home. So, Kelly, what are you doing these days, and how are you helping uh, your community and your clients? Hi, Jeanette. Well, um, I do a few things. I lead an online meditation group every morning from 5.30 till 6. And meditation is proven to be very helpful because um, it strengthens the nervous system. And you being a chiropractor know that that's very important to have a strong nervous system. So that's free also. So everybody listening, all you have to do is uh, get in touch, send me an email, find me on Facebook, and then I will send you the link and you can come in and meditate with us every morning. Included in the meditation is something I wanted to talk to you about today, and that's the breath exercises. We always start with the same three breath exercises, and the reason being is because that also settles, calms, and soothes the nervous system, and in the long run, with repetition, makes the nervous system stronger. And the reason we want a strong nervous system is so that when we're under duress the way we are now, with maybe potential um, virus, and also just anxiety, thinking about potential virus or loved ones who are unwell, or just the collective anxiety that some of us pick up about how anxious people are about this. Having a strong nervous system means that we won't get, um, uh, our knees won't buckle, that we'll be able to stand steady and handle all of this information and um, energy that's coming through. So, um, and, we, and we know that, you know, we're bringing people these strategies that they can use right now, but in the long run, these are great strategies and routines to be put in place on a daily basis. Um, and meditation, you know, is fantastic. And it's something that I do on a daily basis. And I've done it for, for years now. And it's, it's, it's crucial to do it on a daily basis, but even more critical right now. And people can, people can start right now if it's not something that's, um, right. that they're already doing right now. Yeah. And if you happen to come into the meditation room and you find that some of the breath exercises are unfamiliar, you know, just hang in there. Don't worry about it. I, I didn't learn to do these things instantly either. It's a practice. So one of the easiest things that we can do right now that anybody can do is left nostril breathing. And you simply pinch your right nostril and only breathe through your left in the yogic way, which is long and deep breathing. So inhale for as you know, three, four counts slowly, fully, and then exhale through the same nostril longer. So in for four, out for eight, or just in and out, it's, you know, really that would be enough. And according to yogic science, we know that a minimum of three minutes will be enough to start to change and affect blood chemistry, which is what we want. That's right. So, hey, even if you can't get to three minutes, do it for one. Just yep. do it. I always tell people some is better than none. So if you're just new at it, just, just start, just start a minute, just, just try it, just start. You got nothing to lose. And then with time, people, it can increase that, that, that time length that they're doing it and have even more benefits from it. So that's a simple one to calm you down. And then the opposite could be true. If you know, you spent too many hours watching Netflix, for example, <laughs> you can pinch your left nostril and only breathe through the right. So let's say you did, you know, left nostril breathing for one minute, right nostril breathing for one minute, and then you could do both nostril breathing for one minute and you would have made three minutes, but you might find that you really like it and want to do it longer. Yeah. But that's, that is actually science-based. It is, it yeah. is science-based. And it, uh, breathing is one of the most important things that I tell people, if there's one thing that you can just learn to do is just start to control your breathing because we know when people are under stress, whether it be, you know, emotional or physical stress, you want to take control of your breathing because our breathing starts to become very shallow and starting to take control of your breathing will really change your, your physiology, the chemistry in your body, and you'll have effects within seconds. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's pretty simple. In terms of reflexology, there's two spots that I recommend that are also very simple. And the first one happens to be in the web 
between the thumb and the first finger and it's not the web itself but maybe about one fingerprint in and I don't know if you can see but I'm just holding there and this can be a really tender spot so you know you don't have to go full force just hold for 20 seconds 30 seconds notice or maybe even manipulate see what you feel in there you'll get some sensations but uh, pressing that point will help you to uh, settle down so you can do that right hand and also on the left hand and the other spot is between the second and third finger you go down through the groove between the tendons till you get to about the middle of the palm i would slide my thumb there and just relax my hand over that spot and again just hold it can be um, really intense so you don't have to create that sensation just as much pressure or intensity as you can manage or you can experiment that's fine too and then just let go you can do that on the other side and both of those reflex points are about uh, decreasing tension anxiety yep relaxing relaxing your body relaxing the nervous system relaxing the mind mm -hmm. um, and the effects again are really instant and you can they're portable. You don't need any special equipment. You can do it any anywhere um, at free. any time. And they're free. They're free. And, and they're free. And uh, mm -hmm. you know, even for people who have kids at home right now, just te you can teach your kids how to do these simple techniques so that they can have more control and, and help decrease the stress in their own uh, bodies and mind. And so it's it's something that, you know, the young and the old can do. Anybody can do it. Yeah. Very accessible. Yeah, it's very accessible. Thank you, Kelly. So You're thank welcome, you for Jeanette. joining us today. And uh, for our viewers out there, um, we'll have Kelly on for, for future um, chats and, and different topics. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this and, and you can share it with uh, family and friends as well. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.